welcome back to my channel. This is Keisha with Planning with the Prince Pack and I am here to plan for the month of February. And I am using this cute monthly kit. It is a printable kit from Print Petticoat Bandit. And I loved this one. I honestly searched for a very long time on what one I should do. There are a lot of printable monthly kits. But the only problem is that I don't love kits that are not thematic. Obviously, February is very much a love month, so I wanted it to be thematic. And on top of that, I also wanted it to be light. So a lot of February monthly kits that I found were either like really maroon or they included lots of blacks um, or it wasn't thematic at all. So I really wanted to make sure that my monthly kit um, was like that. So, and I am filming this a little late. I'm filming this on February 9th. So I'm a little behind, but honestly, like better late than ever, in my opinion. Plus February is already a short enough month that it's kind of hard. I've got to like, I needed to get going on it. So yeah, if you just want to stick around and watch this plan with me, then I would love to have you. So um, last month I did a printable kit. I can't remember who it was by. Um, oh, here's my my monthly note page. Where is it at? Um, I kept my note page similar to it. I can't remember who I did this. Uh, this was by. This was super dark, and I. That's one thing that I kind of regret that um, it was super dark, but I did love the artwork, so that's why I went with a more dark kit. Um, just sometimes you can't can't win them all, right? Plus, you know, I didn't love all of the um, New Year's kits that were like way too dark and um, purpley. I really liked that it included the gold and the pink, so. I was really worried about this because um, for some reason my silhouette, you know, <laughs> it's so funny because before I had a silhouette, I was thinking like, what are all of these people complaining about? Like, the silhouettes are amazing. Yes, that is true. They are amazing. However, the downside to silhouettes is the fact that they are so unpredictable. Nine, nine times out of ten, I don't even know if it's going to work, which is really hard for me because my Cricut is super reliable. The only downside to Cricuts is that most printable kits are silhouette based now. So um, I did use my Cricut the other day for some vinyl I needed printed and I needed it to be a 12 by 12 size. And my silhouette is a curio, which is different than the cameo because the cameo is specifically um, 12 by 12, but a curio is only like a piece of paper size. So um, I, I used my Cricut the other day and it was really nice to use again <laughs> because my silhouette is very unpredictable. So. That's okay though, I'm really so happy that I got the Cricut, that that was like my my largest Christmas gift. I forgot to say like another large Christmas gift that I got was, um, was Backstreet Boys tickets. So yeah, I'm a huge Backstreet Boys fan. Um, I So the nice thing about Print Petticoat Bandit is that um, all of her monthly kits, they come with, uh, an option to do like a note sidebar, which is what I did last month. But I didn't really love that. I kind of want to make this more decorative. And the nice thing about her kits is that they all come with different hair color and different skin tones. And this one matched me the most, but I do love this sidebar. I think I'm going to still do the girl though. And then I'll just use this for something else. Um, maybe I can cut it up and use it as a washi. Um, but yeah, so on this one, my silhouette was acting kind of funky, so my cut lines are not perfect, um, but that's okay. So I hope that everybody's love month is going fantastically. I um, I can't believe like that 
I feel like I just barely planned my January film or monthly. Like this 2019 year, I it just goes by so fast when you're an adult. And that's one thing I don't like about being, not, I mean, there are many things that I don't like about being an adult, but one of them is the fact that it goes by so fast. Um, which is really sad because I love relishing things. Like I, I just, I don't know, I love life. So I can't believe that we are already into, I'm gonna flip this around and put her down this way. I can't believe that we are already halfway into February. Like how did that happen? When did that happen? Like this week is mid February and February is hard because it's already short but I just feel like it is so short, like unbelievably short. So I'm gonna use this. I always like the, the look ahead, um, just because like if I'm in the current month, I always like looking ahead. And so far this kit is not giving me any issues compared to last month that that kit gave me a lot of issues. I think because it was just so dark, okay. So, I am going to, um, for February, I think I'm going to start, um, well, first of all, what is this? Why is that there? Oh, there it is. I was like, why does that exist? There we go. That made sense. That made some little more, makes a little bit more sense. Um... Okay, I put that on kind of crooked because I didn't turn it around. So I'm gonna start by putting in all of the all of the holidays. So we had Groundhog Day, and the nice thing is that the groundhog, I don't know whether it's a seeing a shadow or not seeing his shadow, but um, the groundhog said that we are going to have an early spring. But the funny thing is, is that no matter what, we have six weeks until spring, officially. So, yeah. So then I'm going to put Chinese New Year down. So we don't celebrate Chinese New Year only because we celebrate the Gregorian calendar New Year. But my school, we do have a Chinese immersion, which means that the students starting in year one, which is first grade, they... Um, they start learning Chinese, which is really cool. Um, so they celebrated it, but I don't personally celebrate it. Um, I'm going to look up when Ash Wednesday is. It looks like it's, what? It says that it's in March 6th. I don't know why that's there. Maybe this is a kit from last year. Um, so maybe that's why, but it doesn't matter to me. It doesn't ruin anything for me. And then Valentine's Day, it does have a sticker for Valentine's Day, but I am going to first, actually, you know what? Yeah, I am going to use that Valentine's Day um, only because I want to use one of the celebration, like the larger stickers like these ones. My husband's birthday is on the 13th. So um, he turns 38. So I am going to write that and I am using this gel pen. It is a 0.35 and let's see. I think I'm going to use these balloons. Okay. And which of these do I want to use? I do like the silver, so I think I'm going to use the silver. Okay. And wait, is this a sidebar? Oh, it's a sidebar. Gosh dang it. Um, Because I wanted to fill like the whole box. I wonder if I can cut it down and fill the whole box. Let's see. Let's see. It's worth a try. So what I'm gonna do, I'm using this blade that I just recently got, and I'm gonna cut it down. It's already cut on the other sides. I'm gonna cut it down and see if I can get it to fit. 
because if I can, then I'll just use this to celebrate Dave's birthday. To commemorate Dave's birthday, I should say. Oh yeah, buddy. <laughs> That's usually what I say when I'm excited. Okay, so I just created that. So Dave's 38th birthday. I don't love how I did his number, but that's okay. So, I'm gonna have to fold this. Oh my goodness, it fits so, like, perfectly. So, if you do a print petticoat band at uh, Printable Kit, and you need, like, these boxes instead of it as the sidebar, there you go. Okay, so along with that, it is also my grandpa and my aunt's birthday. So I think I'm going to do, hmm, I'm going to do these little presents. And my aunt's birthday is on the 8th. It's also my dad's girlfriend's daughter's birthday on the 8th. So I will put another present down on the 8th just like this though. Okay, or was on the 8th I should say, which was yesterday. Then my grandpa, he turns 70, I think. Yeah, 70 on the last day of the month. Okay, then let's see. Dave had a payday on the 1st. Let me find the payday scripts. I did see them. They are right here. Dave had one on the 1st. I had, I mine come at the last part of the month. So mine are, mine are specific days. His are every other week. We both have paydays on this coming Friday, Friday the 15th. And then I have a payday on the 28th. Okay. So there's that. All right. Now um, I have one, two, three, four bill dues. Bills due. Okay. So one happens on happened on the second one happens on the fourth one happens on the fifth and one happens on the 29th I think I have one more that I keep forgetting about. 29th, the 28th, sorry. Ooh, this is gonna be a busy day. I'll put this down here. Thank goodness it's at the bottom of the day, or of the month. Um, I think I have one more that I'm forgetting about. Let me turn to my big happy planner and see if there is one that I am missing. I think it just came out, which is why I am missing it. Okay, I think it is on the 6th or 7th. I'm going to do the 7th only because um, it'll make it easier to write can't remember what day it is on. It's one or the other. It's already come out, but it's good to have down. Okay, then um, let's see. I have another birthday on the 9th. That is somebody that I work with. Her name's Karen. It's her birthday this today. <laughs> um, I need to remember to text her. And then we already did da uh, Dave's birthday. It is my uncle's birthday on the 14th, and he is such a minimalist that I need to find a way to mark his birthday in the most minimalist way possible. Um, only because, you know, it's Valentine's Day. That's how he is. 
And then I do not have school on the 18th. Make sure that you're still in frame. Yeah, <laughs> kind of. Okay, Make, and um, let's see, I don't have school on the 18th. And then I have parent-teacher conferences on the 25th, 26th, and then that means I don't have school on that Friday. So, let's see how I am going to mark these. So, she has in the kit, um, it looks like all of these flag icons, they're almost identical on each one. There's only a couple differences. Um, but these would be a great way to mark, oh, and the hearts would be a great way to mark um, school. So, I'm going to do flags on the days that I have parent-teacher conferences, okay, parent-teacher conferences these two days, oh shoot, there we go, okay, then I'm going to put hearts down and I'm going to do them like bold hearts so that you can see them, like there's one bold color, and then another bold color, okay, and then I do not have school on the 18th, and neither does Layla, so I think I'm going to use a alarm, okay, all right, then, that's it. <laughs> oh, Dave is going to a concert next weekend, which is so fun. I bought him tickets to um, Ice Cube, <laughs> and he's going with his best friend, uh, which is funny. They are very funny with each other. Okay, so he's going to Ice Cube next week. Um, we are going to dinner tonight with my stepmom, so I think I'm going to use an icon flag with, like, the utensils, okay. Um, let's see, and then... Valentine's Day, it's just kind of hard to like mark what we're doing for each day just as long as we mark what's going on. I think that's the most important thing. And then, um, no school. I just can't believe we're already in here and like into this part of our life. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna mark that Sunday was football was the um, Super Bowl and I'm gonna use some popcorn. I'm gonna use gray and spoiler alert <laughs> I mean I would hope that you already know uh, the Patriots won and people are giving Adam Levine with Maroon 5 like such a hard time but I I love it like he did so well um, I'm also gonna mark that today I am spending the day slash weekend cleaning maybe I'll put it on the 10th so I'm gonna do more cleaning tomorrow. Um, I got my nails done in January. So I'm not gonna go, maybe I'll go on, no. This was supposed to be a no student day, but we had our first ever snow day in like 30, 25 years. So I'm gonna mark that we had a snow day um, on the 6th. And this is like, I don't know, a huge thing for us. Like Utah does not get snow days. Um, we just fight through it because let's be honest, we are usually capable of driving in the snow. And honestly, like I went out that day, we could have gone to school. Um, I went out with my mom and we went, we did some shopping, we could have gone to school. But the district a couple of years ago got such flack from not having, uh, or from doing school on a day that we should have stayed home, which that I understand. So they're just trying to like cover their butts. But honestly, it was just a waste of a snow day. Oh, whatever. <laughs> but now we have to make it up on 
what would have been the 15th would have been a work day, but nope. Instead, we, we have to have students. Okay. Um, I'm gonna mark one more thing and that is that we did an all day BLT and that I needed to get a sub on the fourth. And so I'm just using an arrow from the kit. I'm trying not to use anything else, like anything above and beyond the kit. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill the dots in. I am gonna speed you up on this part and then um, I will show you the dots and then I will fill it in. This is a before the pen. I love it. And I did so much better putting down my um, my date numbers this time around. So let me go ahead and fill everything in and I'll be right back to show you the final results. All right, here it is. This is the end result with all the pen. And I loved this kit. I honestly think that I will be using more of Print Petticoat Bandit's principal kit. And I love the sidebar. I love that it doesn't make it functional because I'm not going to use it for function. I love filling things in as like a reminder of how things are going to go, but I don't need to fill in like my monthly goals. I already have a planner to do that. So um, here it is. I hope you really enjoy it and I hope you subscribe to my channel and go ahead and give this a thumbs up. If you would like to see more, then subscribe and um, turn the bell on so that you can get notified when my new videos go up. So thanks so much for stopping by and I hope to see you soon. See you later.